Hey, how's it going? My name is Xu. So, getting yourself a tool to organize your life can be life changing. Personally, it helps me be less stressed out about figuring out what to focus on. When I have lots of projects, sometimes it takes me half an hour just to pick where to start. These tools give me more confidence, less stress, knowing I'm spending time on what's important today. It could be just a piece of paper or post it note or apps like Google Calendar and Google Keep. While these tools are simple and great, they are a lot of new generation productivity apps for organizing your life. Many people use big apps like Notion and Obsidian that let you create a super complex system, but the problem is that it takes lots of time and effort to set them up and maintain the system, which is the reason why I gave up on these apps. So, in this video, I want to show you ones that are ready to use right out of the box, but also powerful and pack important features such as notes, planner, and to do list to organize your life. Tools is one of the best free apps to remember anything and organize your life. It's a new app with such a simplistic yet beautiful design. I feel it's kind of mixed between Google Keep and uh, Rome Research. It's got the simplicity of Google Keep and the flexibility of outliner apps like Rome. The strength of Tools is that it's so quick and uh, intuitive that it makes you want to write down more. Every day you get a new blank note where you can see your schedule, uh, things to do. As the day goes by, you can add more things in your mind to the note. It's great for capturing thoughts, memories, to do's, book recommendations, movies to watch, links, and uh, pretty much anything you want to remember. This is what makes the idea of Daily Note great. You can write anything down in one place regardless of its category. After capturing things, you can organize them into lists, which are kind of like notes in other apps. It can be grocery lists, places you want to visit, gift ideas, people you met, favorite quotes, and so on. Tools has everything you need to be productive and uh, organize your life right out of the box. And there's no need for you to spend hours to set it up and maintain the system, which you can use for writing instead. Ampunoid is one of the best all-in-one productivity apps I know which makes it perfect for organizing your life. It's also the one I use every day. I've been using it for about two years now and I cannot survive without it. It comes with four core features, Jot, Note, Task and Calendar. Jot is like Daily Note or Scratchpad where you can write down anything you want to remember, like in twos. You can jot down to-dos, movies and shows to watch, groceries, memories, etc. Note mode is for when you want to focus on writing something in detail. For example, let's say you want to plan your vacation. You can turn any text into a note or create a new one where you can brainstorm, collect resources and write down to-dos. Then you can organize these projects using tags, which is a great way to manage different areas of your life. The ideal organizing system is always evolving along with your job and uh, circumstances. Ampunoid is probably the most powerful app when it comes to the option they offer to let you manage your organization structure as years pass. You can rename, merge, or move a tag at any point after creating it. This is crucial so as not to end up with hundreds of tags that are too many to be readily browsable. All tasks will be on the main task list, which is sorted by an algorithm called Task Score. It continuously calculates which tasks deserve your attention and reorders the list, so you can see the ones you should work on at the top. This feature alone can make Ampunoid the best to-do app out there. And finally, you can build your schedule from the calendar mode, which is as simple as ABC. Just drag a task into the calendar and repeat. In just a few minutes, you can make a productive schedule for the day and week. Ampunoid is a complete package. It can be your journal, notes, to-do list, scheduler. If you could have only one app on your phone, this is the one. Routine is another new productivity tool that combines multiple tools, such as to-do list, note app, contacts, and the calendar. Despite packing many tools, it manages to have such a clean design, and I like how easy it is to navigate. The biggest advantage of using apps like Routine and Ampunoid is that you no longer have to switch between different apps for taking notes, calendar, and managing tasks. This saves you lots of time and money since you don't have to pay for subscriptions for multiple apps. A cool feature that makes Routine unique is the dashboard. 
On your computer, you can open it pressing Command or Control Space, which will show you the task you have for the day and next event on your calendar. You can also create a new task or event from there too. It has natural language processing, which in my opinion is essential for a to-do app because it helps enter some details much faster. The tasks you created will be in your inbox, which you can organize later whenever you have free time. Then you can use the planner to build your schedule. Routine also has a solid note feature that reminds me of Notion. I'm a huge fan of the slash commands because they make it so easy to format text, create a list, to do, embed something and so on. You can make as many notes as you want and organize them with folders. It's not as powerful as Ampernote's note feature, but maybe good enough for many people. At the first glance, Akiflory may seem similar to Routine. They do share some features, but they are differences too. What's great about Akiflow is its number of integrations. You can connect it to apps like Gmail, Slack, Notion, Trello, ClickUp, and many more. By linking with these apps, you can turn Akiflow into the hub of your work. Hey, it's me. I just noticed I made a mistake. I'm looking at Routine's website and I noticed that they do also have integrations with these apps. And in the video, I made it sound like only Acuflow has integration with them. So that is not true. And I'm sorry about that. Okay. If you open the universal inbox, you can see items from the linked apps, such as emails from Gmail, messages from Slack, and tasks from Notion and Trello. This way you don't have to switch between them. I love you can turn conversations into a task because I often forget to reply to people. But if I have it as a task, it's more likely to remember more generally, its ability to turn anything into a task easily using quick capture is impressive and uh, useful because it encourages you to take more action. Also, it has calendar mode where you can do time blocking to build your schedule, just like in Ampernode and Routine. Another unique feature of Acuflow is sharing your availability. It's similar to Calendly. It allows you to pick your free time slots and share them with people so they can choose the best time to meet up or have a meeting. If you're someone who has to arrange lots of meetings, this will come in handy for sure. I know lots of iPhone users use Apple Notes because it's quick and easy to use, but Hint might be able to replace it since it's super fast and you can use it not only to take notes, but also to save links, screenshots, files and uh, manage list tasks, calendar, reminders, and voice memos. There's more. Everything you save in Hint gets self-organized, meaning it will recognize the type of each item and sort them into images, links, tasks, reminders, videos, files, which is great for finding the right information quickly. I also love that they have the revision feature that lets you review the items you saved before so you can remember what you learned or thought before or archive them if they are outdated, which is really useful to keep your second brain tidy. This was a big problem I had with many note apps like Evernote and uh, Apple Note. You take notes but never see them again, and as a result you end up with millions of old notes you have no idea about. Those were some of the best versatile tools to organize your life. Most of them are young products, so of course they are not perfect, but they are developing fast and it's definitely worthwhile to check them out. If you're curious about how I use my favorite app Ampernote, check out this video. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!